All right, we are in the code.org express curriculum and we are looking at lesson four, creating art with code. And my apologies, I started this conversation without even introducing myself. I'm Mr. Decker and this is my channel. Let's head over to bubble two. All right, let's jump right into the code, shall we? All right, I, hi, I'm an artist. You can write code to make me draw almost anything Play with the box in the toolbox and see what they do. All right. So, okay. Let's see what happens. So let's move forward by 100 pixels. Turn right by 90 degrees. Uh, we'll set the color to a random color every time we draw. Let's just see what that does. All right, so we've made a square. Um, and then, you know what? I kind of want to get a little more elaborate. Let's move forward by 40 pixels. But before we do that, let's turn right and let's change the degrees here. Actually, whoop. Move forward, turn right by 45. Let's see what happens now. Oh, run it, of course. Okay, so if we repeated that, let's say 12 times, what happens? Okay. Oh, now it's just running over the same course. So 12 gets a little bit redundant. Let's see what happens if we throw a turn left in here somewhere after moving forward. Let's say we move forward by uh, 60 pixels here, and then we turn left by, I don't know, 45? No, let's use 60 because we already used uh, 45. Let's see, let's see what happens. I'm gonna speed this up. Oh, cool. All right, that's kind of neat. Let's slow that down a little bit. Neat. All right. Um, so we've figured out pretty much what everything does. I think the only thing we haven't used is the jump forward. So from here, let's have him jump forward by 100 pixels and see about repeating it like 30 times just for fun. And let's speed it up again. Reset run. Cool. Let's jump forward a lot less. Let's jump forward by like 15 pixels. Neat. Uh, you know what? I kind of want him to start up here. So before we do anything, I'm going to have him jump backward by uh, backwards by like 20 pixels. I wish there was like a jump to so I could give him an X and Y location to jump to jump backwards. Um, and turn, let's see, he's facing this way. So I want him to turn left by 90 and move forward by 100 pixels and then turn right by 90. So he's facing the correct way again. Let's see how that goes. There we go. Now we've got our design on the screen, actually. 
But we've got this random line that I don't like at all. Oh, because I did a move forward instead of a jump. That makes sense. That should get rid of that. Yes, it does. Cool. So maybe moving backwards is not what we need at all. Let's see if that centers it better. There we go. Now we can see the whole thing. And let's run it 50 times. Why not? Make a really cool pattern. Awesome. And then if you wanted to do something like, uh, whoops, let's get rid of this. Like set the color to something specific for each turn. So like pink. Uh, and before each move forward, we'll do a different color. Let's, let's just do pink and blue, right? Um, and then before this move forward, we'll change it back to pink. And then before the last forward, we'll change it back to blue. Let's see what that looks like. Super cool. All right, let's finish there and continue. Oh, cool, it tracks your drawing. Keep working on it con and continue to the next puzzle. OK. Let's make, make a cage for my pet monster. Drag blocks onto the screen to have the artist draw over the gray lines in the picture. Each line is 100 pixels long, so we need him to move forward by 100 pixels. We're going to turn right by 90 degrees, and then we're going to move forward by 100 pixels again. And that should finish the monster cage. Let's slow this down. Perfect. All right. Bubble four. Oh, neat. We've got a rocket. We need to contain the alien creature inside the rocket. Oh, no, not contain him. He needs a window. Sorry, alien. I thought you were a bad guy, but I guess, I guess you're a friend. <laughs> All right, each side of the inner square is 100 pixels, and all of the angles are 90 degrees. So right now, we've got two blocks. Move forward by 100 pixels and, and then turn right. So he's going to draw this section of the square, or the window. And he's going to turn right to face down. So we need to move forward again. Uh, we're going to continue to turn right and move forward. And you know what? Let's, let's just do this. Make it really simple. Repeat that four times, shall we? Boom. Yeah. So instead of having to go move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right, over and over and over again, we could just use that repeat block. And uh, yeah, I want to. I kind of want to ma match it to the spaceship. So let's set the color to blue. Here we go. All right, level five. Oh no! Starless pet alien just flew away! Let's help the space woman. Okay. So now we're making a triangle, so we're changing the the angle. That's the big part of this one. So he's facing this way. Let's go ahead and draw the bottom. Uh, turn left by 120. Move forward. Turn left. Uh, move forward three times, right? 120 each time. Let's hope. Slow it down a little bit. Good. Perfect. All right. Maybe we should just make a tag for each of our pets in case they get lost. So we need to make this pet fluffy uh, tag so in case they get lost. I'm assuming the phone number, address, and all of the important information is on the back. All right, let's finish this tag by drawing a rectangle around the outside. The long sides, this side and this side, are 200 pixels, and the short ones are 100 each. Okay, so we need to move forward by 200. Type that in there. And we're going to turn right by 90 degrees, and we're going to move forward by 100. We're going to turn, uh, let's see, we're facing this way. Let's run that. 
Okay, and then we're going to turn right again. This time we're going to move forward by 200. Type that in. And then we need to turn right and move forward by 100. That's eight out of the eight allotted blocks. Let's reset run. Oh, why didn't it draw? Uh, why didn't it draw? Oh, I jumped forward. Wow, is exactly right. Move forward, not jump forward. Important distinction there. All right, there we go. Let's continue. On bubble seven, now a tag for bell. Okay, so this is a square. All right, bell, each side is 200 pixels. So we're gonna move forward by 200. We're already, and that's gonna draw this bottom line right here. And then we need to turn left by 90, move forward by 200 again. And actually, let's just use a repeat. Make that a lot easier. Repeat it four times, run it. There we go. So if you missed that, I drug a repeat block out here, changed it to four, and then the existing code, move forward by 200, turn left by 90. And then you get Bell's uh, pet tag, I guess. I don't know what to call that. Name tag, leash tag, collar tag. Uh, challenge puzzles. All right, sweet. Okay, we're ready for this. All right, Waddles. Is Waddles a duck? Ducks need uh, help as well. Do this in 12 blocks. Okay. So let's see what that gets us. Move forward by 100. That's not it. So maybe it's 150. Oh, if I read the instructions, I'd already know, wouldn't I? Uh, this one's a special shape. Can you figure out how to draw the outline? The long side is 150 pixels, and each of the short sides are 75. Okay. So repeat. Uh, wait, no, that's not going to work. So move forward by 150 is going to get us all the way across the top. And then we need to turn right by maybe 45 and then go forward 75. Let's see if that works. Just making sure we're drawing that part. Reset run. Okay. And then we're going to turn right by 120, I think. And then it's going to be 75 again, uh, moving forward. By 75, reset, run. No, not 120. If... Hmm. That was way too sharp. So is it 90? It is 90. Okay, interesting. And then I think we can probably just do repeat twice on this code right here. Let's see. No, we cannot. <laughs> Quite clearly, we cannot. OK, so let's pull that out of the repeat. Um, that's in six blocks. So all right, what are we looking at here? Run. And then we need to turn right by 45, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Turn right by 45. That should be there. And then we're going to move forward by 150 to get that bottom edge. Typing that in. Let's see if that works. OK. And now we're drawing this part. So we're going to turn right by 45 again. and then move forward by 75. And that's gonna put our character right here. And we're gonna turn right by 90, and then move forward by 75. And that should do it. 
And the Waddles will have a brand new, fresh name tag. Excellent. Okay. That looks complicated. Reset, run it again. I like watching the process. There we go. All right, straight to bubble nine here. All right, on bubble nine, one more tag. This is a triangle for pi. Each side is 150 pixels. Okay. So this time, I think a repeat will work. Move forward by 150. That's going to draw the bottom of that triangle. We'll turn left by 120. We're going to repeat that three times. Type that in, enter key, run it. Got it. All right, that one was very simple, and we did it in less blocks than they uh, allotted us. So repeat three, move forward by 150, turn left by 120, and you get it. Continue. All right, on this one, look carefully at the code below. What's going to happen? So a prediction bubble for our last bubble. Interesting. Look carefully at the code. What's going to happen when we click run? When we click run, he's going to move forward by 200 pixels, left by 90 degrees, forward again by 200 pixels, left by 90 degrees, forward, left, forward. Uh, so one, two, th three... It's going to draw four sides because they're one, two, three, four forwards. We're turning left by 90 degrees every time. So it's a right angle every time. And all of the sides are the same size. So I think it's going to draw a square. Not a triangle because there are four sides. Definitely not a single line. And the artist is not drawing a pentagon. Run. Yes. A big perfect square. And that's it. That is bubble 10. Let's see. Is there anything else? Continue. Is there a challenge or no? Right on to Sprite Lab. So I'll see you for the next video. And for the next video, we'll be doing lesson five.